What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Welcome back to another video. I'm your boy, Jay Bird, aka Mr. Cool Guy. Well, today's video, I'm reviewing Busta Rhymes' debut album that was released in 1996 called The Coming. This album is a classic. It began at Busta Rhymes' career when he was in a group flip mode squad. And I like that. It's got like 13 tracks on the album. Three singles off the record such as It's a Party, Do My Thing, Woohoo, Got You All in Check. And we're going to review all six tracks on, I mean all 13 tracks on this debut album by Busta Rhymes and why this album is such a classic starting with track one the main title of the album the coming intro here we go y'all enjoy the show Approximately 11.30 p.m. A black child was born. Upon his arrival and rapid growth, being exposed to the many casualties of the streets, he has now realized what must be done. He must bring the ruckus to all you motherfuckers. He must bring the ruckus to all you motherfuckers. He must bring the ruckus to all you motherfuckers. All I can say about that intro is that it's dope and y'all can tell me like how much I enjoy that intro in the comments below cause it's good that Busta Rhymes produced, I mean, promote this album when it was the year 1996 and DJ Scratch was the executive producer and I actually filled the joint and the dude got like a lot of dopeness to it even though it's an intro of the album introducing Busta Rhymes as a new upcoming artist at that time and hey, y'all can tell me like what y'all like about track one in the comments below alright moving on track two do my thing hold on a second y'all go. I get more in your ass. 
your brain like plexiglass. You motherfuckers be acting like you don't know the half. You and your whole staff make me laugh. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, y'all, you need to sing my song with your sympathy features like Olivia do in John. Damn, oh, I make the whole place warm. Then hit you with some shit that make you niggas look deformed. Now, stay tuned to every bust of rhyme coming soon. I will kick all all niggas like Gorilla Ball. Soon, soon. Oh, what seems to be the whole analysis? Watch the rhyme, just be ripping shit like miraculous. Back you on your head so far, shit be forming calluses. Let me get this through so we can move up to these palaces. Let's get down and just do my thing, baby. Let's get down and just do my thing, baby. Let's get down and just do my thing, baby. Let's get down and just do my thing, baby. Let's get down and just do my thing, baby. Let's get down and just do my thing, baby. Now this song track two, do my thing. The song ain't too bad though. I really like that's a dope single off the album and DJ Scratch did good with producing that track and Busta Rhymes was spit some ill rhymes. I really feel his Jamaican flow when he rapping, do fast rapping and the song debuted at 39 on the United Kingdom singles chart though. I wish that it could have had a lot of prop back then though to be promoted though but other than that the song is a dope track off the record and Busta did his thing with spinning them rhymes and I actually feel his flow and his energy and y'all can let me know like we got like about track two do my thing was that one of the dopest singles off the album where y'all just like that Busta Rhymes would just spin some fire and DJ Scratch was the producer alright moving on track three everything remains raw here we go y'all hey, Don't talk. When they fall, I make you 
Now, track three, everything remains raw. I really feel that joint, and I really like that Easy Mo B produced that track and helped call written it and busted this. Spit some ill rhymes with that song. I really like that beat. That beat got like a lot of old school hip hop flavor in it. And y'all can tell me like what y'all like about track three in the comments below. Is that one of the dopest songs that he did on the record and have it. Easy Mo B be the executive producer and help co-written the rhymes with him. Please share. Alright, moving on. Track four. A band is here featuring Rampage, the last Boy Scout. Here we go, y'all. That song is just dope, and I really feel all that gangster rap and Busta Rhymes did his thing with putting Rampage on this song, and they both are in a group flip mode squad, and this song do like a lot of kick to it, and I really feel that bass, and y'all can tell me like what y'all think of track four, you know, Busta Rhymes produced that track, and it is a dope track on the album, and I'm glad I got a chance to hear that song on listening to the record, but y'all can let me know like what y'all like about track four. Alright, moving on. Track five. Sing off the album. Oopsie. Got you all in check. Here we go, y'all. Yes, I can't wait. 
right, and that's where it don't my feet up. I'm never going to give you what you need. But I'm going to be right, and that's where it don't my feet up. I'm never going to give you what you need. But I'm going to be right, and that's where it don't my feet up. Wake up every morning, the white boss sucks, TV up. They should wipe off us, make their world stand for TV up. You're with me, and we grow some TV up. Man, trying to get that white boss grow a TV up. So we want to make moves, and set some TV up. Please don't make me fight you, Tim. I think I'll eat it up. Now, track five, Woo Ha, got you all in check. I say that song is a classic. It, it became one of Busta Rhymes' most famous and beloved songs that he done in the old days. And the song ain't too bad, though. The song debuted at number eight on the Billboard 100. Number one for a U.S. dance single sales chart, and number six for a U.S. hot R&B slash hip hop song chart, and number one for a U.S. hot rap singles chart, and 24 for a U.S. rhythm mic chart. And the song went platinum in the U.S.A. selling like 100,000 copies, and the song ain't too bad. Though I really like that beat it's got like a lot of old school hip hop influence and Busta Rhymes and Rashad Smith did good with producing that track together and written them rhymes as well and y'all can tell me like we all think of track 5 Woo Ha got you all in check is that one of the best songs that he did on the record to be a single off the record please share alright moving on track 6 single off the album it's party Now, track six is a party featuring Zane. 
the song is dope. It's got like a lot of East Coast hip hop and R and B and Buster did good with putting this female R and B group on this song and it's dope that it's a single off the record though. And y'all can tell me like how much I enjoy that track in the comments below. Please share because the track is fire and it's good that the song was fifty two on the US Billboard Hot 100. But that's all I can say about the track. But y'all can let me know what y'all think of it in the comments below. Alright, moving on. Track 6. I mean, track 7. Hot Fudge. Here we go, y'all. track and I actually feel it though it would have been dope if he did have Nas in this song though but that's just my opinion but y'all can tell me like what y'all think of track 7 high fudge all right moving on ill verb featuring q-tip from the group called a tribe called quest here we go guys Fuck 
rock noise, not employees, the unbelievable. We cry like we see the airline, cries be fine with a non-polar blind, keep eyes up my screen until you start to quiver. Metabolism splits rivers, I rock so many bras, I leave your entourage tender, like bartenders mix liquor. I serve you over the rocks, feed you to my block, now time to click triggers. Man slaughter in alphabetical order for four quarters, raw water turns sons to granddaughters. <laughs> Track 9, Flip Mode Squad meets Death Squad. That song is a banging joint, and they all were cold on this track from both groups. And you walk and tell me like, what y'all like about that song in the comments below. Is that one of the dopest songs that Buster did with his group and the group Death Squad? Please share, because it's a uh, ill track. Alright, moving on. Track 10, still shining. Here we go, y'all. Track 10, Still Shining, that's a dope track, and I really feel his Jamaican flow and his fast rapping and Busta was just killing it with that song, and the song ain't too bad though, but y'all can tell me like what y'all like about the track in the comments below, please share what y'all like about track 10 in the comments below. Alright, moving on, track 11, Keep It Moving featuring Dynaco, Milo, and Charlie Brown. Here we go, y'all. Keep it moving. Boy, we got some of this freedom. Keep it moving. Has more money than any other dude in the house. And as I know, every new man, some of them seem to be sitting in place. But look, I've been a jam of the night. Visionary was given online, D.O.P. I guess 
Now your man sitting there watch you panic. And then the other situation, you be fronting like you jogging. I guess all that fronting is your main talent. It's apparent. I can see right through you like you transparent. I, and though you need to watch your back, you running out of time. Watch your step, but you only the inches from the finish line. You can live true, baby. You can live right. Whatever way you choose, you got to live your life. Now, track 12, The Finish Line, that's a dope track that he did on the record and I actually vibe with it and Busta just be so creative with the whole rapping and singing flow and it's, I really like that DJ Scratch was the executive producer and helped co written that song. I think that should have been a single off the album though, but that's just my opinion. But y'all can tell me like we all think of track 12, the finish line. Y'all think that should have been a single off the album because how dope that track is. Please share. Alright, moving on. Track 13, final track of the album, The End of the World, Out Roll. Here we go, y'all. Yeah. Track 13, The End of the World, Out Road. It was a dope Out Road that Busta did to close the album with. And y'all can tell me what we all think of Track 13, The End of the World, Out Road. Is that a dope track to close the record with? Please share. Well, that's a wrap, everybody. We just reviewed all 13 tracks on this debut album by Busta Rhymes called The Coming. Now, this album is a masterpiece. It's good. I got to check this album out when it was the year 2021 when I didn't pay attention to the rest of Busta Rhymes' albums. But it's good that I checked the first ever album out that began his career. And when he was in the group Flip Mode Squad. And it's good. And I like that he involved DJ Scratch, Easy Mo B, Rashad Smith, Rick Saint. Holly Nair, and I don't know the rest of the producers' names though, but this album do like a lot of East Coast hip hop, and all 13 tracks were dope, and I get this album 100 stars, and all three singles off the album were dope to listen to as well, and this album debuted at number six on the Billboard 200, and it also debuted for number one for U.S. top R&B slash hip hop album chart and the album was certified platinum selling like one, over 100,000 copies anyway gold in Canada selling like over 50,000 copies and y'all can let me know like what do y'all like about this album in the comments below what are your favorite tracks is this still one of the dopest classic albums that came out when it was the year 1996 or not please share well, this is your boy Jay Bird. That was my album review by Busta Rhymes reviewing his debut album that came out when it was the year 1996 called The Coming. One of the dopest hip hop albums that began his career as a solo artist and is still known to be a classic to this day. And y'all can let me know like, what are y'all favorite tracks off of the album? What are the best songs that y'all feel the most while listening to the record? Feel free to hit that subscribe button, tune to my later videos, check out more upcoming videos, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and I appreciate you all showing me love on my channel, you all the best, I love you guys, and peace.
peace out. Y'all be smooth. I'll catch y'all next time. Deuces, y'all.